Good morning, my little YouTubers. It's Kevin on the Kevin and Anna Show. Today is Saturday, July 24th. My second hand's in the way. 25th. Um, and I've got some interesting things to show you today. Uh, I'm not out going to yard sales, and that's for a specific reason. One, I want to use some time to, um, to get caught up with my listings. And, um, and I've spent some money, a different type of sourcing. And I want to show you that. We'll look into it later. But I'm going to do a little background work and figure out uh, comps on some of the things that uh, I bought. But I did want to show you this before I packed it up. Rest your ash, little toilet ashtray. Cute little pupper came from Tennessee somewhere. But anyway, actually it was made in Japan. Uh, but uh, I sold that. Uh, I picked it up in an um, ashtray lot and sold that for $5.99 plus shipping. So I'm getting ready to get it boxed up, get it ready to go out the door. But I'll come back in a little while. We'll pick up where we left off. All righty then. Good stuff. Got that little toilet ashtray packed up. And this is going to be my next adventure for my Saturday packing. Picked all of these remotes up, 10 cents each. That one had a dollar on it, but I still got it for 10 cents. Um, so it's time to start looking at them and checking to see... If they're uh, if they have corrosion in them, oh, better you see that around the outside of that. That one could very easily be corroded. But uh, I didn't check all of this at uh, the church flea market is what they have. Um, that where I bought these, a Seventh Day Adventist church flea market. I just saw these remotes for ten cents each, and they had some like cable remotes for cable boxes in there as well but I just left those behind because they're typically not going to sell anybody can go to their local cable offices I would guess they're not going to sell anyone could go to their local cable uh, provider and pick up another remote so with that said um, I gotta find all the batteries I need check each compartment for corrosion maybe do a little wire brush cleanup uh, and then test them. And if you guys are unaware how to test them, uh, there's lots of uh, resellers out there with little clips in their videos on how to do so. But uh, I'll throw that clip in mine as well. Now I really need to clean this thing. Uh, but I'll throw that clip in mine as well. And um, I'll show you how you can see if the remote is actually going to send a signal or not. I'm working on all the remotes and wanted to give you a little pro tip for saving time and making decisions. Do you really want to list it? So I've got eight remotes here. Okay, I went ahead and pulled the batteries, but I could have even skipped that before I wanted to see which ones I was going to list. So what I've done here is I've comped them all. One, two, three, four, eight. One, one, two, three, and eight. Sony. I think I can sell it for 10 bucks with free shipping. RCA, seven bucks free shipping. And so I'm following this pattern here. And it just helps me save time when it comes to the actual listings of them. Now, the key is obviously you gotta keep these in the same order so you don't get them mixed up. And there's a million ways to uh, do, do the same thing. And other people may disagree and wanna do it differently. But this is how I'll do it. So the next thing I'll do is I'll I'll start uh, maybe a little cleanup and do some testing, and uh, see if that one works. So I'm up to the point of testing. This is where I wanted to show you how to test. Uh, for my little chart here, what I'm doing is one Sony sell it for ten free shipping, and check mark means it's testing good. Okay, so. My phone is pretty old, so I, um, I couldn't use it, and at first I thought, oh no, all these remotes are crap. So I borrowed my wife's phone, which is a much newer phone, and that's uh, it laying there in the, 
on the table on the counter but what you want to do is you want to turn on your camera phone and flip it so it's facing you okay the other camera the main camera typically does not work but if you use the camera that's facing you you put the remote in the picture you can see the little red light going as I press various buttons let me get my angle right here there maybe you can see that I think I hope so yeah that's how we test uh, remotes and once you see that portion of it you know the remotes good now what I haven't done is I haven't really cleaned these so that'll be the next step but that was one of the things I wanted to mention earlier was why would you bother cleaning something if the comps aren't there or if you're just not gonna if it doesn't work or you don't want to sell it for some reason don't waste time cleaning them first that's the last step uh, I have taken my brushes and I just picked these brushes up like at Walmart or Lowe's I can't remember it was just a variety pack of brushes that I can use some of them have metal um, this is the main one I've been using just a little like four dollar pack and you got all these uh, various brushes but some are metal some are hard plastic I don't think this one was in the pack I don't even know what this came from probably a flooring job or something I was doing but uh, nonetheless so that's what I use to uh, clean the contacts uh, to get any of the um, uh, corrosion from the batteries off so uh, we're gonna press on here I'm going over to number five next no I just checked number five that was the one we were doing yep Optimus so we'll get a check mark there and we'll move on to the Samsung Here's another little quick tip that I just saw on this particular remote you see these tiny little um, uh, buttons what do you call it they're like anyway they light up when I'm pressing a button so that's pretty neat not all buttons but they light up when I'm pressing a lot of the buttons DVD receiver it says so that's cool we'll still go ahead and test it here and again you see our flashing red light sorry kind of hard to juggle all of this at the same time and a flashing red light to show you that we're getting a good signal so all right cool so all of them tested okay so we're good to go there I did forget for number eight this guy that I had it marked at seven but I marked it down I'm gonna sell it for five with free shipping because I forgot that one is missing the battery compartment cover it may prevent it from ever selling but who knows we'll throw it on there since we're gonna be neck deep let's get some light on here for you since we're gonna be neck deep into cleaning them and getting them ready so that's what's next is I'm just gonna go through the compartments give them a good uh, brushing and then I'm gonna use uh, this just a uh, bowl of warm water and old rag and I chose to use Mr. Clean because it was handy and we had it so I just poured a little bit in my water here and I also have you know a roll of paper towels that I'm gonna use for uh, you know getting uh, getting over them so just run over them after I brush them I'll just run over them real quick with uh, damp rag squeeze that out real well and get the muck and the grime off and then we'll do a little more detailed cleaning on them McKinley says thumbs up all right good to go everything's been clean wiped off we'll let it dry out here in the heat and the Sun for five minutes uh, and then you know it's up to you uh, how you would do it I'm going to toss batteries back in there and give them one more quick test after uh, after I give them a little time to dry and don't make the same rookie mistake I did that was the old paper um, sticker that had the the model number and everything on it and I accidentally wiped it without thinking thankfully I didn't do it on this one but there's where we're at we'll let them dry and uh, give them a test and then at that point we'll start listing that was a chore so all remotes are listed I now have a little used remote collection 
to uh, dig into when, in, when and if anyone decides to buy it now. So that's out of the way. That's done. I'm a list maker. I didn't scratch these off as I finished, but because I enjoy that part of list making, I'm going to scratch those off. Um, but it's really something for you to think about as a seller. Um, there's only going to be, even on some of those, some of them will be maybe $5 profit uh, after listing fees and I put free shipping on them, things like that. Some of them may not even be but about a dollar profit. Because I was kind of in the groove and on a roll to get those done, uh, I didn't throw anything out. I just listed everything. Again, that's kind of somewhat beefing up my inventory. And hey, if it doesn't sell for six months down the road and then I make, you know, 98 cents or whatever off of one sale, you know, that's all behind me. Now, there's plenty of other better things that I'm excited to list about, list online, but um, that was. I'm, I haven't been around long enough to really have a death pile, but if I was, those would definitely be in a death pile because, again, it is a chore with all the cleaning and testing and then in individual listings, but it's done. It's behind me. Hoorah! What you doing? Cheese. <laughs> it's a video. You don't have to say cheese. Say, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What are you doing? I can't wear Paw Patrols. Playing with your Paw Patrols? Where are they playing at? I play in the water. In the water. She's been uh, watching Peppa Pig, an English show. So she's been starting to imitate and say water. You've been playing in the water? Yes. Yes. So that's our youngest Maisie. Took a little break. Talk to the wife for a second. So I was talking yesterday about some uh, something I was going to show you, and then I said, no, nah, I'll wait and save it because I can get a little winded. And um, now I've set things up. I still need to do some really some deep uh, uh, price diving to see what the comps are on these things. But they used to be a lot more popular than they are now. There is still a decent following for these. They're all NASCAR... Uh, models 124th scale they're all 124th scale even this big box is a Dale Earnhardt collector card inside and this one actually has a stand that goes on it but the interesting thing here is that four of them are autographed all of them but this Mark Martin uh, have certificates of authenticity now you may ask what is so different or what is so you know why is that something you were going to talk about yesterday? Well, one, obviously, to show you. Um, but two, it was the sourcing that I used. I have seen throughout the years many people putting up ads on uh, Craigslist or Marketplace to say, hey, I'm in search of, I'm looking for this. And I always thought to myself, do those people actually ever get, get calls or, you know, anything? And so I said, why not? Give it a shot. So... Friday morning, um, I threw an ad on Facebook Marketplace and I said, uh, you know, I'm interested in buying your collection or your um, bulk stock. You know, if there's something you've got, reach out to me with pictures and um, we'll take it from there. We'll see what we can do. And so a lady, unfortunately, her father passed away recently and she's trying to pay for his funeral and, um, and move stuff. And so... She told me about, you know, these and sent pictures and showed me the four that were autographed with the certificates of authenticity. And, um, you know, I started uh, pricing some of them just very, very, uh, uh, not, again, not in detailed comping, but I started getting comps on them. And the autographed ones, a lot of them, I think, could easily go for $60 upwards to $120, $150 maybe. So... I got to get the specifics on there, but uh, you know that's bye, what. Uh, bye bye, Maisie. Have a go outside. You going inside? Okay. So um, I've still got to get all the specifics on it and really nail down what I'm going to list them for. 
But, you know, I asked her, I explained to her she understood that uh, I was a reseller, so I'm not going to give uh, eBay prices. And then I asked her, had she considered doing it, you know, selling it herself? And she said she just couldn't, you know, didn't have the means and couldn't do that. She just wanted to move them as a lot. And so I said, well, what do you want for them? And she said 250 And I honestly think I could make a profit on 250 And yes, it was you know, uh, a scenario where she's, you know, selling them not because she's really wants to, but to help pay for her father's funeral. So, um, I offered $90 and she, no, I offered $95 and she countered and said, would you give me a hundred? And I said, sure. So I think honestly, I'll make a hundred dollars. I'll make my money back after selling one of these. Uh, and I should easily, I think, make another two to three hundred dollars off of selling the rest of them. So, cha-ching, that worked out well. There is a moral part of me that says, you know, she needs money to pay for her father's funeral. And you have to take people for, at face value. I don't know, uh, but I assume she's being honest. Um, but she needs money for her to pay for her father's funeral. So, should I have offered more than ninety dollars? And there is somewhat of a struggle with that, but I have to look at this from a business perspective. I'm very sorry for her, you know, my heart goes out to her. We lost my dad about four years ago and it's something terrible to go through. Um, thankfully, dad took care of things financially before, before he left, so mom didn't have to deal with what this lady is, uh, is having to deal with. But, you know, at the end of the day, I am reselling for fun and enjoyment, but I'm also reselling to make money. And so she was willing to take that. Um, so I don't, I don't think I should feel bad about that. Um, and had she, you know, she's a grown person. Had she not reached out to me, had she wanted to sell them herself, she had other options. She didn't take them. Uh, she came to me, I threw a number at her, we settled, and there you go. So uh, enough of that deep thought. Let's uh, just be excited about, hey, there is a ton of money to be made on these. And hopefully, I'm going to price them. I don't want to sit on them for a long time because, you know, that's a decent chunk of money. So I'm going to list those, you know, a little less than what I'm seeing comps for and try to move them quickly. Boom! Oh, that's some grueling comps to look up. The thing is, is there's, I think there's just so many of these types of uh, die-cast NASCAR cars that they're not all listed, you know. Um, I searched and searched for various combinations. Anyway, this big Dale Earnhardt uh, one, it's going... Our brand news are selling for about 75 to 80 bucks so this is an open box I'm gonna put that on for 50 this particular uh, Jeff Gordon elite makes it a little different um, but it's also by action which most of these are made by anyway it's 20 to 40 so I think you know I'll throw it on maybe for 30 bucks and hopefully get rid of that one these four are all Jeff Gordon's and there a lot of them aren't selling and the ones that are selling typically anywhere from 10 to 15 as you see but typically like 12.95 and so I think I'm gonna put these together and put them in a lot milestones is the uh, it's kind of like the series if you will and here was the frustrating part these are the four um, autographs I've got and I can't find comps on any of them except this guy which is Mark Martin and it's made by Team Caliber it's not an action car uh, and I think I can get about 35 for that one there wasn't many comps on that one at all and again these I can't even find these guys I sat there for a long time searching for all of these different types of things and unfortunately there's no barcodes to scan on these puppies so that was a bummer as well but um you know i'll have to just uh, do a little more more investigating i mean the the autographed ones there's a lot of them out there 
and I've got a Jeff Gordon, an Earnhardt Jr., and a Casey Kane. So those are the three that I've got. And again, they make so many of them. I don't know. It's hard to tell what I may or may not be able to get out of them. I really don't want to put them on auction. I mean, it'd be cool because one of them could be so rare and hard to find and skyrocket. But I also just want to list them as buy it now and not have to worry about a listing fee every time an auction starts over or canceling it and then listing it as a buy it now. I'm kind of an over and done with it type lister. I want to list it and be done with it. Now I do enjoy a good auction and a good adrenaline rush, don't get me wrong. But I don't know what I'm going to do on those yet. I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to take a break. Go sit on the couch and chill with the family for a short while. My lower back's hurting. I think it's because I'm wearing these cheap 99 cent flip flops that I've been wearing for since last summer. In the summer when I'm kicking it around here. And they're like flat. They're like walking on cardboard. They're smashed so flat. So standing on concrete, hurting my back. So, anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. I listed those four Jeff Gordon cars in a lot, but I just wanted to show you this. I'm Frankenboxing right now. But how cool is that, how this one random box is just going to be like the perfect size, you know, height and width out of my crazy stack of boxes over here. <coughs> Which, if you haven't heard in prior videos, um... The company I work for, an IT company, we get boxes in all the time and so, you know, equipment in all the time and a lot of time it's really heavy duty corrugated cardboard which is nice. Um, but I look for packing supplies anywhere I can find them uh, and bring them home and stack them here in my pile which I got to get that pile straightened up so Anna can get the van back in here at some point in time. But, you know, that's, um, that's what I'm doing with, uh, with gathering shipping supplies I did have to buy um, I don't know if it was in yesterday's video but I did have to buy some uh, poly bags and they're on their way but you know I try to I try to use as much reuse recycle stuff as I can and it saves me money so when I do something like spend five hours on a remote getting it cleaned up to make 50 cents <laughs> I can uh, recoup some costs this way, but anyway, just a quick uh, shipping update on that. I'm getting it boxed up so I can get it weighed uh, and measured, and then I'll know exactly what shipping will be. I can put the measurements in eBay, and boom, got that one done. I did it. I did it. I've got all those uh, cars listed. All the ones that you saw here have been listed and are now stacked over there. We'll walk over there and take a peek. Oh yeah, coffee's getting low, but that's alright, it's late in the day. Anyway, so, um, I was really starting to get like, oh, I'm tired of listing, I'm tired of listing, my lower back still hurts. And so I get all of these guys listed. And I've got this lot listed. There's four in there. And then what keeps you motivated? When they start to sell as you're listing them. That one sold. I think that one was $19.99. I'll have to double check. And then a Jeff Gordon. This guy. That's an auto. Oh, all the autographs. I ended up putting them all on there for $54.99 or best offer and I'll take 50 bucks for them but like that one obviously was going to be probably worth more than $54.99 um, because it sold didn't even get an offer on it so oh that's Casey Kane where's Jeff Gordon here you are um, except for Dale Earnhardt Jr you know he's got a huge fan base because of his father I think he's a little snotty-nosed brat, or at least he used to be. He may have grown up by now. But um, that's just my personal opinion. I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of people mad if they watch this video, but it is what it is. Hey, I was born in NASCAR country. I have a right to say those kind of things. Um, 
But nonetheless, I listed that one for $79.99 and, um, or best offer. So we'll see if that snotty nosed brat makes me some uh, decent money. But, you know, the way I've got it set up, uh, it's going to be about when they all sell, if I don't take lowball offers. You know, I'll be around probably $220 or so, uh, $240 maybe. I'd have to do the math, but, uh, you know, stoked about that. Uh, again, a ninety, I know, $100 investment. So, um, hoorah. Wifey's got some dinner ready. I'm going to go chow down, and then I'm going to come back and get the other two items that just sold, those two cars. I want to get those boxed up. Uh, so I can throw them in my car and have them ready to go to USPS. See ya! Okie dokie. Ate a fabulous dinner. We had tiki masala. Chicken tiki masala. And it was delicious. But I needed to go to Walmart. Pick up a couple items. For us, the most important one, coffee. I was out of coffee, so I picked up some more coffee grinds today and a couple other items, and I hit the clearance aisle while I was there, and I'm hoping I've done a good thing. We'll see. Um, this is Fortnite Battle Royal Collection. Uh, regular dot was $31.97 on sale for $11. Comps seem to be okay on that. So we'll see how it goes. And then there was Elmo. Elmo was also on the clearance aisle. Regular $29.82. On sale for $13. Comps looked okay on this one too. <clears throat> Belly. Yeah, so whatever he says, he speaks English and Spanish. So that's pretty neat. Anyway, these guys, they kind of have to be hidden. So the youngest of the younglings does not find them. Uh, but I got three of the Fortnites and five of the Elmos. I, I got everything they had. Um, so what's cool about that is, um, you know, I can sacrifice making as much money on them um, simply by, uh, by only having to list one time, you know, of course I want my price to be competitive and I want to move them and get them out of the, out of the door, but, um, you know, I'll sacrifice a dollar or two dollars on profit, you know, per item if that's feasible, just because of the time I'll save in listing, uh, listing them with quantity, so... Yay! I've had several questions on auctions that I've listed today, those NASCAR things, but um, only those two still have sold. I've been watching the views, and they're on a steady climb, uh, so that's good. One of them has one watcher thus far, and it's you know only been maybe two, three hours max. So that's cool. Um, encouraging. I think all of that will sell. I think it will all sell fairly quickly. There's the two I still have left, uh, or not left, but the two that I've sold. So that's what I'm going to work on next. I'm going to get these guys boxed up. So I will see. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done. Done for the day. Um, let me turn off that light because I wanted to show you this. This was a Casio keyboard that I picked up. Um, nice keyboard. Picked it up for eight bucks at uh, a yard sale quite a while back, and um, I've had it listed for a while. But you know, nobody really wants to pay shipping on that because it's pretty intense. Um, even through um, Pirate Bay or Pirate Ship, um, like a guy has been questioning me in Florida, and it was like seventy-five bucks to ship it to Florida. Maybe I just need some more education on shipping, and yes, I do watch the other sellers, uh, resellers' videos on shipping, but nonetheless, he said he really wants it, and he's trying to work it in and make it work with an old keyboard, so it's like almost an experimental thing for him. I made sure he understands there are no returns. I pray that he doesn't try to send it back, 
if he buys it. But he asked me if I'd work with him on shipping, and I asked him his zip code. He gave it to me. So I checked what USPS was going to charge, and that was about $75. I checked what um, Pirate Ship was going to charge, and it was about $55. So listed for $55 with $55 shipping is $110. So hopefully, we're still emailing back and forth tonight. I'll have to update you tomorrow, but hopefully he buys that. So that would be awesome. Anyway, daddy's got to go chill. I got to get out of this garage and just take a break from all of this and be done for the day. So thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. And I hope you come back and see us again. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, one last thing I forgot. Um, I got the Elmo's listed. $19.99 each. Shipping's about nine bucks on them. Original $30, so hopefully uh, those will sell. Got five of them.